Hello guys, in this video, I'd like to share with you some solutions to fix the error no persistence provider for entity manager named ice ice in Java development with Hibernate and JPI. I am Nam Haming from Code Java.net. Let me show you the error in Eclipse and EE. You see, I have a Java project which is using Hibernate and JPA uh, for the data access layer. It is a web application uh, deployed on a Tomcat server, so I start a Tomcat server here. You see, uh, I got an error. You see, the error is uh, Java X dot persistence dot persistent exception, a no persistent provider for entity manager named uh, Bookstore website. You know, there are four possible reasons that cause the error no persistence provider for entity manager. The first one would be the persistent unit name in the code does not match the one in JPA config file. The second one uh, may be a typo in the name of the JPA config file. The third reason uh, may be the JPA config file is not in the right location. And the last reason is that uh, incompatible hybrid core version. You see, in this uh, project, I'm using uh, JPA with Hibernate, so I have the JPA config file, the persistence.xml file here, and I declare a persistent unit name is bookstore website here, and in Java code, I refer to the persistent unit name in the class uh, JPA DAO here, and you see, uh, this line that creates an entity manager factory object from the persistent unit name bookstore website. But look, you see in the XML uh, JPA config file, it is a uh, bookstore website with the uppercase S here. But in the code, I have S in lowercase here. So you see uh, the persistent unit name. Uh, in Java code does not match the persistent unit name in config file. So uh, I need to update the Java code or the XML code. So I choose to update the Java code here, bookstore website, and start the uh, server again. Start. And you see, that error has gone and now uh, Tomcat has started successfully without any error. So uh, that's the first uh, solution to fix the uh, no persistent uh, file for Entity Manager. Check the persistent unit name in Java code and the JPA config file. Uh, ensure that uh, they are the same. Let me show you another possible cost of the error. Start the server Tomcat. And you see, I also got the error no persistence provider for entity manager named Bookstore website. And uh, as you can see, I have the JPA config file under the meta INF folder here with the name persistence.xml. But if you notice, uh, there's a typo here. The name should be persistence.xml, not persistence.xml. So you see the name here is uh, not correct. So I just need to change uh, to a correct one. So I'll change the name. Uh, press F2 here to change the prime name to uh, persistence persistence.xml and uh, start the server again start you see uh, the error has gone tomcat has started successfully so pay attention to the uh, jpa config file 
uh, be sure that it is uh, persistence.xml like this. And another cost of the error, no persistence uh, provider for the entity manager is that the JPA config file, uh, the persistence.xml file is not under the right location. You see in this project I have the persistence.xml file uh, directory under the source folder here. Now let me start uh, Tomcat server. And you see I got the error, no persistence provider for entity manager. So the correct location of the persistence.xml file is under meta inf folder in the class path. So uh, I need to create a new folder, new folder here. And name the folder as uh, meta dash inf and put the persistence.xml file under this folder ok like this you see so this is the right location of the jpa config file persistence.xml and now i can start the server and you see the error has gone uh, tomcat has started uh, successfully Let me show you another case that causes the error no persistence uh, provider for entity manager. So in this project, I have the correct uh, persistent unit name in config file and in Java code here. And uh, I have the persistence.xml file under the right location here under meta inf folder and the file name is correct. Now let me start uh, Tomcat server. And you see, I got the other no persistence provider for entity manager. So the reason is that uh, I used a uh, hibernate core version uh, 5.0.12.0 here. Somehow this hybrid uh, core version uh, cost is uh, that error so to fix the error I just uh, need to change the hybrid core version to another stable version for example version uh, 5.2.12.0 final embed the project and start uh, Tomcat server again And you see the error has gone. Uh, Tomcat has started successfully. So that's another solution to fix the error. No persistent provider for entity manager uh, change the uh, hybrid core version. Okay, so far I have set with you four solutions to fix the error. No persistent provider for entity manager. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.